Okay, today I thought I'd just show you something that's really, really unfair. Um, I did an audio boo a couple of days ago about what's happening with a uh, property that somebody is living in and is just about to be thrown out by the bank because the bank has refused to accept a decent offer on that property uh, from somebody which gave the owner the chance to stay in the house and try to sort out his financial position and then by next year actually buy the house back. Um, so this is a list of the uh, subastas, the auctions in Valencia from, as you can see here, the 8th of the 11th onwards. And if we go all the way down to the bottom, and there's 25 pages of this, you'll say it takes us up to the end of the year. Yeah? Um, some of the things that I'm finding in here are ridiculously overpriced, but let's just have a look at our example. Here we got it today, the 10th of November. We have an auction for this property in Bedra. And the price that is down there is 196,000. Now, because there is a second um, charge on the property, nobody's gonna uh, buy it for that price uh, because they will be responsible for the second charge. The barrister for the bank will push up to 300,000, which is the total debt. But what this means is this 196,000, nobody will buy it and therefore the bank will be forced to accept uh, buying it for 98,000, which is half of this amount. And when they get it for 98,000, they will then, uh, it's called Fede en Remate, they will pass it on to somebody to buy for 98,000. And here's the corruption part. We know that is going to be somebody in the bank. Because uh, the other day, the person who was going to let the guy stay in his house and actually um, uh, have a chance to buy back the house next year, um, he went to the bank and offered them 140000 And the bank refused, saying it's got better offers. Well, obviously it hasn't because it's going to auction today. And therefore, um, the bank will be forced to accept 98000 Now, call me cynical, but I can tell you now, the person who's offer, who will offer and get that property for 98000 will be one of the bank's employees or a family or friend of one of the bank's employees and that is totally corrupt because he will throw the guy out of his property and unfortunately um, he will have to leave and this guy will just make a quick profit on it. Well, the guy would have been able to stay in his property if it had accepted the 140000 The bank would have been better off. Absolutely ridiculous situation, but that's what happens.